Welcome back to our coverage of the 2016 SEMA show. Yesterday, we got a chance to check out some of the best exotics out there at the Acuair Royal Flush booth. Today, we're here at what used to be the car corral. It is now the truck corral. So we're going to start today with the truck I built. Most of you may know me as uh, Acuair spokesman, but I actually have a shop called Delmo Speed and Custom. We're out in Prescott, Arizona. This year, we brought a 1959 GMC short bed. And it's, uh, it was a really fun build. The, the owner kind of gave me carte blanche to do what I wanted. And I decided to go back with a 60s show car kind of theme. We did um, LS3 tri-power fuel injected from Autotran DFI. We filled the engine bay with a lot of chrome. Uh, we did some one-off wheels, which was kind of a throwback to uh, the American graffiti wheels. Uh, that was kind of a steel chrome reverse wheel with no hubcap. So that was really fun. Uh, the truck was kind of full of a lot of dealer options back in the day and so we we decided to keep a lot of those it had uh, some really cool hooks flush mounted bed hooks and some side steps that were a dealer option so rather than um, fill those we decided to polish them up and kind of keep the truck OG uh, interior was done in Prescott by Prescott Hot Rods again we used some original 1956 materials kept the interior really clean filled it with some kicker audio but kept it sanitary and uh, I think the truck's going to be a real good driver because it's fuel injected. So we did the AccuAir Endo VT system, which is brand new this year. It's great because the valves are incorporated in the tank, which, which makes things just even cleaner. So in the end, the truck ended up being very clean, but very traditional. And with all the amenities of a new like fuel injected piece. So we're really happy with it. I hope you enjoy it. If you're at SEMA, make sure you come by AccuAir's Truck Corral check out some of the nicest trucks here. All right, moving down the line a little bit here, we're going to check out Craig's 68 service bed truck. Come on in, Craig. Hey, man. Thanks for spending some time with us. Is this is this your first SEMA show? Yeah, very first. We ended up uh, getting here out on a whim. It was a, a situation where Instagram got us here. And just the people seeing what we had and, and uh, through Tin Works and, and us barraging this thing, AccuAir saw us. Well, I've been following the truck for a while, I gotta admit. I mean, it's one of the coolest service bed trucks I've ever seen. And what what was the inspiration behind this? Uh, actually, what it started off was I did a rat rod one. It, uh, it was a 64, and um, basically it kind of evolved from there. And what was funny about it was is nobody thought that this truck, they couldn't imagine what a finished truck would look like and why you'd want to do it. So the beauty of it is, is when it all comes together and and there again through that Instagram and and through you know with Tin Works doing their their uh, their diligence and getting just a finished product that was crazy, this truck actually started off as a uh, step side truck, and uh, it was already it was really a done truck. It was in red, and we re looked at it and actually I think it was uh, a truck that maybe you had done a '66 that was in this kind of color. I'm not sure if it was yours or not, but uh, that was what really inspired us. We completely changed it based on that. Well, I can tell you when this thing pulled in, it sounded nasty. Tell me a little bit about the motor. Uh, it's, it's basically a dual quad 454 motor. Um, it's all roller uh, cam, roller assembly in this thing. And it really, it honestly, it sounds uh, mean as all get out. That's the hard part about these trucks is everybody's got a little bit of something exactly like what we did, you know? And, and so changing up with the utility bed, the big block, you know, gold wheels. I mean, it's just kind of one of those things where you have to do a little something different. Yeah, I mean, I love all your choices and how much detail is this. Is, is that important to you as far as a build goes? Like all the little small things. Well, the thing is, is when you're doing um, builds like this, I mean, we probably got maybe a little over $100,000 in this truck. And when you're competing against trucks that are three and $400,000, every every detail counts. I mean, in this truck, we have a billet dash uh, that we custom made uh, with the classic instruments. We've got all billet, billet uh, uh, taillight assemblies. They all uh, intertwine with each other. And then they basically intertwine the AccuAir uh, pad. I mean, we ended up um, putting that together and, and just trying to make it so it was it, it all fit you know yeah well and you've got tons of room to put that tank back there some tools maybe so you can come rescue my ass from when I break down so dude Craig thanks so much for spending time Thank with us much. we love your truck appreciate it right on stay tuned for more coverage of the truck corral here at AccuAir yet another killer truck here at the AccuAir truck corral this one built by uh, Lewis Milnich and we've got a representative from them 
to talk tell us a little bit about the truck bill come on in hey bill thanks for taking the hey, time man thank you so bit of a crunch getting here how you how you feeling doing okay uh you've been long nights uh had a little problem with the truck on the way up and we got it fixed and got a late check-in but we're here we're here representing nice so now i've got some experience with lewis milnich body shop um it's up by uh kind of west of fresno and uh you know you guys did some paint work for me at the, for the SEMA truck last year and what was cool was you know I went to your guys's body shop and it was a lot of collision stuff going on but you guys have this way of turning out some of the most incredible customs how do you guys find the time you know it's collision by day custom by night um, after hours five o'clock midnight you know Saturday Sunday um, we just fit it in. I mean, the, the love, everybody in the shop loves doing this kind of stuff. Um, collision pays the mortgage and uh, the customs, you know, are the, are the fun times. So we fit it in. The time's there. Well, I had a great experience there. So this year you guys brought a 72 C10 here. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, this truck is uh, owned by Ho Jose Leonos, um, lifelong resident of Hanford, and um, he, he, uh, this was his father's truck. And um, his, his father has had this truck since almost new, and what we did was we took this thing down, a chopping block chassis, um, did, did all the paint, exalt the paint. Um, we are an exalt the shop. Uh, took this thing from, from being just a, a little street truck, non-suspension, to a fully bagged vehicle, uh, custom truck. Original paint, original everything, um, just some custom touches on it that, uh, that we think uh, makes it look uh, very appealing to people, and, and we love this kind of stuff. So that's an original color? That's the original color that came on the truck, yes. Wow, it's so smooth. You guys must have hours and hours making that flat. Yeah, Lee, the, the painter, spends a lot, a lot of time making sure, and his dad also, Lewis, um, who owns the body shop, they spend a lot of time fine-tuning things and doing things that other people uh, may or may not do. I don't know. This is the only paint shop I know, but uh, they spend a lot of time making sure the lines are straight and everything's right. So is the customer familiar with air suspension? Is he, is he going to be pretty comfortable driving this truck? Uh, he is now. He wasn't first off, but he is now. We've showed him how the AccuAir system works, and uh, we've had an association with AccuAir for a long time. They've been fantastic to us, and uh, we, we like their product, and that's all we use. Cool, man. Well, Bill, thanks for spending the time with us. We love the truck. And again, if you're uh, in, at SEMA 2016 near the AccuAir truck corral, please come and check out this blue truck. It is fantastic.